In the last episode, we showed that we could press play and that in our JavaScript console, we could find the hello world log message. Now, this is actually a series about runtime scripting, and we're not in runtime right now. If, if you're inside the Unreal editor, you're not in runtime, you're still building a game. The idea is that you can use Unreal JS to build a game that is then still programmable, even though it's not inside of an engine. So you might think, if you've used Unreal before, that you can just go package your project and it will work. And I'm sad to tell you it won't be that simple. But let's try it. Let's see what goes wrong. I'll, I'll make a new folder here right, right in my project called build. You can build it wherever you want, but this is not a bad way to do it. Go into build and we'll select this folder. We'll build this project. So it does build successfully, but let's go run it. We'll go into build, we'll locate the exe file that was just built out, double click. The game launches, we are in our world, but here's the problem. If we locate our logs, open up the logs, and scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, hello world is nowhere to be found. If you don't believe me, let me search. Search for hello, cannot find hello. It's not there. It's not actually running your JavaScript. Now, one thing to always check because it's kind of a gotcha with Unreal is to make sure you built out the right map, which I actually did not do. I didn't build out the right map. Uh, I, I saved this map with the JavaScript component attached to the floor inside of new map. And so it's important that that be in the level that loads, otherwise on start won't even begin to load. So I could rebuild now, but we'll see a very similar problem. It should rebuild much more quickly the second time, but unfortunately still won't work, even though I did make sure to make the map with the JavaScript component my default map, we're still going to have a problem. So here we are in our world. Let's go open up our logs. And it's very, very important to remember how to find your logs in your built project. It's going to be one of your main ways that you debug JavaScript that runs at runtime. So it's inside of your built folder, saved logs, Unreal JS demo log. It'll be whatever is the name of your project.log. Now, once again, if I search for hello, you won't find it. But if I search for on start, we do find that JavaScript warning failed to read script file on start.js. Even though our content scripts folder contains on start.js, this was not copied over into our build folder. So on Unreal JS demo content in our build folder, there's no scripts to be found. So th that is one problem that we need to fix, and I'll show you how. And so once again, we're going to go into uh, these build settings for Unreal. So edit project settings. Before I went to maps and modes, now I am going to go to packaging. And you wanna click this, that little, little advanced options icon. And you scroll down, and the one that you want is additional non-asset directories to copy. You're going to have to add that. You're going to add your script folder inside of your project to the list of non-asset directories to copy so that it will get copied into your build. Now that we've twiddled that setting, we can build again. And is the third time a charm? Let's see. Let's go into build, locate our exe file, launch the exe file. That should bring up a running Unreal game. Here we are. We don't really care about anything that's happening in game right now. We just care about whether behind the scenes there was a JavaScript environment in that running game that executed our Hello World program. So again, I'm going into saved logs and opening up the most recent log and let's search for hello. Hey, look, there it is. So if it said JavaScript says hello world, then you successfully got a running build of your game to execute some JavaScript. So theoretically, now this build folder could be distributed if you wanted. If you if you wanted to distribute the game as is, you, you could distribute it to someone who does not have the Unreal editor installed. 
let's say they did not have the recommended 100 gigabytes of space to install the Unreal editor, all they have is your build folder on Windows. They should be able to launch your game via the executable and your JavaScript on start.js should run. So that is the end of tutorial number two, getting your JavaScript to run at runtime, not just in the editor.